Hello, welcome back to Teresa DeRose's Longevity for Life. Thank you for watching. How to build your brain health at any age. All you have to do is move. Moderate levels of movement such as walking, yoga, and exercise. Use parts of your brain that do not use often. Close your eyes and do something you do not often do every day with the opposite hands. This will strengthen your brain. So if you're using your right hand to write, if you're a righty, then use your left hand and try to write and it'll strengthen your brain a little. Everyone has the occasional senior moment. Maybe you've gone into the kitchen and you can't remember why or can't remember or recall a familiar name during a conversation. Memory lapses can occur at any age, but aging alone is generally not a cause of cognitive decline. When significant memory loss occurs among older people, it's generally not due to aging, but to organic disorders, brain injury, or neurological illness. Studies have shown that you can help prevent cognitive decline and reduce the risk of dementia with small, basic good health habits by just following these simple tips. Staying physically active, getting enough sleep, not smoking, having good social connections, limiting alcohol to no more than one drink a day, and eating a Mediterranean-style diet. Memory and other cognitive changes can be frustrating but the good news is that thanks to decades of research, I'll give you information and you can learn how to get your mind active. I'll also discuss the foods to help with your brain health. There are various strategies we can use to help maintain cognitive fitness, and here are several you may try. Keep learning. A higher level of education is associated with better mental functioning in old age. Experts think that advanced education may help keep your memory strong by getting a person into the habit of being mentally active. Challenging your brain with mental exercise is believed to activate processes that help maintain individual brain cells and stimulate communication among them. Pursuing a hobby, learning a new skill, volunteering or mentoring are additional ways to keep your mind sharp. Next, use all your senses. The more senses you use in learning something, the more of your brain that will be involved in retaining the memory. So the sense of smell Smell your foods before you eat them. Think about the texture, the taste, the touch. Touch a material before you wear it or buy it. And really feel the texture. And listen more carefully when someone speaks to you. Don't just listen to them. You need to hear them and what they are saying. So challenge all of your senses as you venture into the unfamiliar. Next, you need to believe in yourself. Myths about aging can contribute to a failing memory. Middle-aged and older learners do worse on memory tasks when they're exposed to negative stereotype about aging and memory, and better when the messages are positive about memory preservation into old age. People who believe that they are not in control of their memory function, joking about a senior moment too often, perhaps are less likely to work at maintaining or improving their memory skills, and therefore are more likely to experience cognitive decline. If you believe you can improve and you translate that belief into practice, you have a better chance of keeping your mind sharp. Another one, prioritize your brain use. If you don't need to use mental energy remembering where you laid your keys or the time of your granddaughter's birthday party, you'll be able to concentrate on learning and remembering new and important things. 
Take advantage of smartphone reminders, calendars and planners, maps, shopping lists, file folders, and address books to keep routine information accessible. And designate a place at home for your glasses, purse, keys, and other items you used often. Another, repeat what you want to know. When you want to remember something you've just heard, read, or thought about, repeat it out loud or write it down. That way, you reinforce the memory of, con of connection. For example, if you've just been told someone's name, you are introduced to someone, repeat it to them. Use it when you speak to them. And as they walk away, repeat it again, and you will remember that person's name. Then space it out. Repetition is most potent as a learning tool when it's properly timed. It's best not to repeat something many times in a short period, as if you were cramming for an exam. Instead, restudy the essentials after increasingly longer periods of time. Once an hour, then every few minutes, every hour, then every day. Spacing out periods of study help improve memory and particularly valuable when you are trying to master complicated information, such as the details of a new work assignment. Now, here are the foods suggested to build your memory. We all know that fish, especially salmon, is very good for your brain. When people talk about brain foods, fatty fish is often at the top of the list. This type of fish, of course, includes salmon, trout, and sardines, which are all rich sources of omega-3 fatty acids. And coffee, who would believe it? But coffee, coffee is another. If coffee is the highlight of your morning, you'll be glad to hear that it's good for you. Two main components in coffee are caffeine and antioxidants. These help your brain. The caffeine in coffee has a number of positive effects on the brain, including increased alertness, improved mood, and sharpened concentration. This all could at least be partly due to coffee's high concentration of antioxidants. Then we have blueberries. Blueberries provide numerous health benefits, including some of the specifically that are great for your brain. Blueberries and other deeply colored berries deliver anthocyanins, a group of plant compounds with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Antioxidants acts as both oxidative stress and inflammation conditions that may contribute to brain aging and neurodegenerative diseases. Then we have turmeric. You can get turmeric in a powder form and use it in your smoothie, or you can get a supplement. It has generated a lot of buzz recently. This deep yellow spice is a key ingredient in curry powder and has a number of benefits for the brain. Curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, has been shown to cross the blood-brain barrier meaning it can directly enter the brain and benefit the cells there. It's a potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compound. Then of course, we have broccoli. Broccoli is packed with powerful plant compounds, including antioxidants. It's also very high in vitamin K. A few studies in older adults have linked to higher vitamin K intake to better memory. Beyond vitamin K, broccoli contains a number of compounds that give it anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, which may help protect the brain against damage. Pumpkin seeds, another seed, contains powerful antioxidants that protect the body and brain from free radical damage. They also are an excellent source of magnesium, iron, zinc, and copper. These are the nutrients that are important for brain health. 
Zinc, this element, is crucial for nerve signal signaling. I believe I have zinc here. Yes, I take zinc as a supplement. Zinc's deficiency has been linked to many neurological conditions, including Alzheimer's disease, depression, and Parkinson's disease. Magnesium is another essential for learning and memory. Low magnesium levels are linked to neurological diseases, including migraines, depression, and epilepsy. I'm sure you've been told by your doctors if you have migraines to use magnesium. Copper, your brain uses copper to help control nerve signals. And when copper levels are out of whack, there's a higher risk of neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's. Then you have iron deficiency is often characterized by brain fog and impaired brain function. Pumpkin seeds are high in these micronutrients. You can likely reap their benefits by adding pumpkin seeds to your diet or to a salad. Then we have, which everyone loves, dark chocolate. <laughs> dark chocolate cocoa powder are packed with brain boosting compounds, including flavonoids, caffeine, and antioxidants. Any type of dark chocolate, it doesn't have to be this one, this one happens to be flavored. Flavonoids are a group of antioxidant plant compounds. The flavonoids in chocolate gather in the area of the brain that deal with learning and memory. One study found that participants who ate chocolate experienced increased positive feelings compared to participants who ate crackers. Then we have nuts. Research has shown all types of nuts. Walnuts, almonds, can improve markers of heart health and have a healthy heart is linked to having a healthy brain. Again, when you have a healthy heart, you have a healthy brain. Several nutrients in nuts, such as healthy fats, antioxidants, and vitamin E, may explain their brain health benefits. Vitamin E shields cell membranes from free radical damage, while helping slow mental decline. While all nuts are good for your brain, walnuts may have the extra edge. So always have walnuts on hand, since they also deliver omega-3 fatty acids. Oranges and other foods that are high in vitamin C can help defend your brain against the damaged doom free radicals. Also eggs are a good source of several nutrients tied to brain health, including B6 and B12 folate, and choline. Choline, two studies found that higher intake of choline were linked to better memory and mental function. Eating eggs is an easy way to get choline. Given that egg yolks are among the most concentrated sources of this nutrient, eggs are a rich source of several B vitamins, and choline which are important for proper brain functioning and development, as well as regulating your mood. Green tea, as is the case with coffee, the caffeine in green tea boosts brain function. In fact, it has been found to improve alertness, performance, memory, and focus. And you can get any green tea. But green tea also has other components that make it a brain-healthy beverage. One of them is L-theanine, an amino acid that can cross the blood-brain barrier and increase the activity of the neurotransmitter GABA, which helps reduce anxiety and makes you feel more relaxed. So if you can have a cup of green tea at night without the caffeine, it will help with anxiety from your stressful day and you'll be relaxed. Plus, green tea has been found to improve your memory. The bottom line, many foods can help keep your brain healthy. Some foods, such as the fruits and vegetables, as I mentioned, as well as tea and coffee, 
have antioxidants that help protect the brain from damage. Others, such as the nuts, the eggs, contain the nutrients that support memory and brain development. You can help support your brain health and boost your alertness, memory, and mood by strategically including these foods in your diet. That's it for now. Thank you for watching Teresa DeRose's Longevity for Life. And remember, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. See you next time.